Colorado, Colorado, Colorado. Why are we talking about Colorado? You know, I love this fucking affair. Check it out. Check it out. How does it go? Okay. This is what I discovered. Like this shit. You see? You see this shit? No, no. Not that way. Fuck. How was it? Well, basically, it becomes infinity. Like a mirror and a camera. It's like the last part in that movie, Citizen Kane. Fuck, man. Oh, Colorado! Oh, fuck, do I have a story about Colorado. So it goes like this. Um, July 4th, 2000, I have a big party on my barge at Chelsea Piers in Basketball Center, uh, uh, New York City, 23rd Street, West Side. So you got this big bar size of a size of a fucking city block, okay? But very long one. The the trains were the trains were transported on this barge in nineteen thirties. My landlord bought it. And then there's this fucking boat. How do you call the boat? Uh the boat is called Frank Pan. What a fucking name for a boat. Tug boat, okay? And it's a historic fucking boat. My landlord pulled out from the bottom of fuck knows where. <coughs> and he didn't and he decided not to restore it. So the whole fucking boat, frying pan. Is dock now, uh, you can go, it's a museum in Manhattan on 26th Street, okay? They moved three blocks north. The landlord is Angela. She was the wife. She was picking my fucking flowers, and they have extensive collection from 2000 and 2001. After a couple of years, since 97, they figured out, shit, it's a better deal to get paid in paintings. So now she has a restaurant in Brooklyn, and it's full of my fucking paintings, you know, but she hates me. Because I, I left in June 2002 without paying rent for three months. I forgot why. Ah, oh, because I, have, I had five criminal cases. Four in New York and one in D.C. So I was looking at one year in prison. So what the fuck am I talking about? Oh, 4th of July 2000. 2000. Uh, uh, and a lot of people come to this barge, many Russians, okay? So under the floor of the barge is my fucking studio, 1,000 square feet, yeah? Paying 500 a month, that's fucking nothing. That's fucking free, right? And uh, Russians, a lot of Russians, uh, they bring their own alcohol, and then I have sponsorship from Budweiser Distributor. Unlimited Budweiser, <laughs> these fucking cans with these pumps, you know. I, I, I never drink beer, you know. I drank beer in my teens in Europe, but it's a different beer. It's not gassy. It's full of flavor. And in Poland, they mix beer in the winter with honey and uh, spices, all kinds of herbs. Herbs in Europe is big deal, okay. They believe all kinds of shit, you know, how to get diarrhea, how to get a hard on how to heal your hemorrhoids or something. For instance, artwork is a story, okay? In my case, all I care about is myself, me, okay? Me, my life. Vaginas I fucked, you know, dicks and, and dogs and everything has a meaning and I can explain it, you understand? Like on the right side, it's always future. Present is always in the middle of the painting. Past can be in the left if you want it to be. Okay? You don't have to have past. You don't have to have a future. You can only have the present. I choose to have future. Five million years in the future. Planet Earth is not inhabited by humans anymore. They died out in 21st century. Who inhabits the planet Earth? I was talking about Colorado. Okay, fuck Colorado. Basically, I know somebody in Colorado. She's a sister of this woman who comes to my fucking party. Her name is Anna. She says, can we go to your studio? And she's a gymnast. She's Olympic gold medalist in sprint, 100 meters. And she decided to stay in the United States, like ask for political asylum. She got married to a wealthy and famous TV caster. But she brought her sister with her from Moscow. Their mother is alcoholic. Her father died in her childhood. She was earning money by sex and selling bottles like cans from a trash to feed her sister at age 10. 
So she was the staff girl. Her mother was an Olympic gold medalist in ping pong. I mean, one fucking crazy family. Her father was a prize winner of the Soviet government in science. Fucking genius sciences, but he passed away. So she comes down to my studio and she says, my name is Anna, blah, blah, blah. No, I don't want to tell you the story. So basically she became a lawyer, okay? She became a lawyer. Years later, and she was always crazy about me. I didn't want to continue a relationship because she was so fucking crazy. She would walk on the fucking edge of the building, 12th floor, and there is no, no protection. And it's like a big private party on a roof. My art collector, you know, fucking billionaire, has many patents, Russian genius. And she's walking on this edge. In the meantime, I'm sitting with some fucking woman who I don't know, and she's kissing me. And she's like the fucking supermodel. I forgot her name. Fuck, what's her name? So, Colorado. So, Anna became a lawyer to protect her sister because her sister got married to some guy in Colorado who has an army with machine guns and is the biggest grower of marijuana. That's my connection to Colorado. Okay, so Anna is crazy about me. Now she's a uh, criminal lawyer in New York City. Very successful. She gained weight. She looks like a fucking dumpling, okay? She's not a gymnast anymore. So artwork can travel in time. You have the privilege, and if you have the ability, if you have the knowledge. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about transcending time in your mind as a fantasy. That's true. However, the whole artwork is a fucking fantasy, okay? Artwork is not supposed to be a reality. It's a fucking illusion. What people buy is not real. Do you fucking understand? Do you understand why this uh, Magritte painted a pipe and he wrote... This is not a fucking pipe. Of course it's not, stupid fuckers. You fucking so imbeciles. It's a painting. Do you fucking understand? This is illusion behind me. The man paid $2,000 today for this, for this flower painting. So I'm gonna be, she's gonna pick it up in July. We're gonna be making a lot of videos how to stretch finished 20 year old painting. And then at the same time, when he comes in July, he wants to stretch this, learn how to stretch it on a heavy duty stretch. So why do they need to be heavy duty? Because that canvas is very thick. This is very flexible. This is linen and it doesn't, well, this size needs heavy duty. We're talking about this wood is expensive. Linen like this, piece like this, for the painting like this size, linen is $350. Well, it was 20 years ago, <laughs> I need to check. Now I have free canvas, okay? Broadway show decorators, people who in Broadway, on, in, on New York, all the fucking Broadway shows are my decorators, are my friends, do you understand? After the show, they dump this canvas that is fire resistant. And it's a heavy-duty canvas because these are theatrical curtains and all kinds of fucking couches they make. And after the show, after one year, you know, sometimes after one night, they dump all this shit because the show is over, right? So I get this fucking tons unlimited, practically unlimited. I have unlimited paints in cans from dumpster and now i found the guy who's actually local who says i have 300 cans i say can i offer you hundred dollars he says okay half of them most of them are very expensive ralph lauren five hundred dollars a gallon but nobody's gonna buy them from him only i because i know technology by adding 20 percent uh, of acrylic 65 to this wall paint I create a real artistic paint. You understand how much I'm saving? So I can paint on canvas because you can't paint with wall paint on canvas. Don't do that. It's gonna crack and fall off because wall paint is actually chalk with a little gooey. But that gooey stuff is not supposed to be gummy. My acrylic 65 is gummy by nature. You pull it like a goo. It's transparent. And it's so strong. And there, there is another chemical, double so expensive. It's 300 a gallon. It's called uretin. It's fucking glass. If you let it dry like a little droplet, it, you can't hammer it. You can't fucking break it. You can take a knife and stab it. Some kind of raisin. 